Hi guys. All right, today we're going to be starting some wine. I got this for my birthday because I wanted to try and make my own wine. And I would love to do it from stuff that I've foraged, like crab apples or strawberries that I grew or something like that. But right now, if I want to taste it for the holidays with my family, starting it from fruit is going to take longer. So I found a shortcut using grape juice so we can hopefully try it for Thanksgiving because it's already, you know, juiced down. So first thing I have here is my one gallon. This is what I got for my birthday. The gallon jug for fermenting. This little white piece is called a bung, which I keep thinking of beef as a butthead every time. This is the uh, aerator with a lid, and then I got yeast. I got all that for my birthday. Today we're gonna need the juice, some sugar, little vodka to go in the aerator, and let's, uh, like I said, I've never done this before. You guys get to dry things out with me. So we're gonna start first by pouring in the juice about halfway, I'm not gonna fill it all the way up, and then I gotta like, shake it up to get that oxygen in there aerated. So we're gonna start first and pour the juice in. Got Welch's Concord, 100% grape. My family likes to drink um, like really grapey wine on Thanksgiving dinner. So I figured grape juice, grape wine. So we're gonna fill it. I'm sure pouring it in like this also helps it aerate into the jar. Definitely need a funnel for this. So we got this one bottle, which is two quarts, 64 ounces. Got the one bottle in. And I'm gonna, I don't have a lid for this, but I got the bung, so I'm gonna put that on, put my finger on it. Shake it, get a bunch of air in there. All right. So, next up is to add the sugar, and it is one and a half pounds of sugar, which feels like so much sugar, but the sugar is what helps ferment, it helps it make that alcohol. So, we're gonna add that sugar in. Seems like a lot, and then we're gonna have to help it dissolve. And that one and a half pounds of what I put in here, that's about three cups of sugar. <coughs> Just so you know. So much sugar. You can see it all at the bottom. Of that in there. I'm gonna put that uh, bung on again. And I really gotta shake this good to dissolve it. So I'm gonna carefully stand up here. So I'll get a good shake on. seen someone else do this with a stirring tool. I don't think I have many tools that could fit inside of this. Looks pretty good. So we added, we poured the wine, we added the sugar, we stirred it to dissolve, and we're going to add the rest of the juice up to this one gallon mark. So we have to leave headspace 
so it doesn't explode when the yeast and everything is fermenting and reacting. So, we're going to add the rest. Probably not all of this. I don't think it's all going to fit. Doing this outside right now, getting dive bombed by ladybugs. It's a warm day in October. They got cold and they're coming back out again. All right, we're gonna leave it to about there, I think. One gallon mark, the foam's there. Okay, the yeast which it says a half a teaspoon and stir. I have a little bag of actually wine yeast. It's gluten free. You can use bread yeast too. The guy I watched do this, use bread yeast. I'm gonna use the wine yeast. So we're gonna get this in here and then I'm gonna stir that up. Little yeasties. Hmm. Here's the wine yeast. I'm going to pour in we're going to stir that up again or shake it Foam on there, good. Make sure the yeast isn't just sitting on top of the foam. Okay, and now we have the airlock which we're gonna put on, but I need to put the vodka in, and it has like a max line. So I'm pretty sure I just need to open this little guy and put the vodka in. I just got some burnets. Let's see, my mini. Work in the funnel. Right. I read a, a few places you can use tap water for this, but because I am doing this for the first time and it's wine and not beer, I was going to go with a sterile environment here. And that goes right on top so the air can escape, but nothing can get in. There we go. And I'm ready to ferment. I'm going to put it in a cool dark spot, probably in my basement, and then check on it every once in a while.
It tastes alcoholic. I think it filtered out a lot of the yeast. Filled three of my bottles. I wish I had two more of those bottles because also a pitcher. Um, it probably would be better if it sat in these bottles longer, which it will, but we're going to taste it on Christmas Eve and maybe we'll just taste the pitcher and I'll let those three just sit. Would I do it again? Yes. Uh, we'll let them sit longer and see how they do. They're not actually corked, so... I don't know. The uh, siphon, I had to use my sucking power as opposed to the squeezing because it just wasn't working. Um, it was a cheap $7 siphon for Amazon, so... But I'll try it again, and I want to try it with actual, like, real fruit and not just fruit juice, but I wanted to try this for the first try because why not? So... Maybe I'll film some of other people's reactions of them tasting it and let you all see. And my brother is supposed to be bringing me the alcohol um, hydrometer so we can see what its actual level is at on, in a couple days. Um, it's alcoholic. Grape juice. Very sweet.